Hello guys, today's video will be about business part of Laravel project. Since the channel is called Laravel Business, from time to time I shoot videos about business problems, challenges and all the productivity stuff. So I received an email from a potential client uh, and I've zoomed the Gmail window for it to be more readable. I hope it's readable, but generally I will summarize uh, the potential client asks whether UML diagrams uh, would be beneficial or not or helpful uh, should they describe all the scenarios like what happens if there is an error or what happens if user wants to move something. So that's just one example but broader question I get from time to time from different sources is how to structure the specification of the project uh, for different cases. First case says uh, budgeting, so how clients should structure the first uh, specification so a developer could tell a budget and a deadline and a time and then how detailed it should be in terms of visual mockups or texts or specification details or UML diagrams or something like that. And I decided to share my experience with examples. My examples are based on Upwork mostly, but not because I land new clients there, not that much anymore. I'm not really an active search for clients, but over the years, I've saved various examples of specification for the ideas for demo projects on this channel. And I decided to reply to this very email with this video and those examples uploaded to Google Drive. So in the description of this video, you will find a link to this folder, Project Specifications. And let's take a look at a few examples. So Loan Application, I've shot a video about that pretty recently on this YouTube channel. It's a six pages PDF document, scope of work with describing each scenario without any visuals in kind of presentation mode or something without describing too much detail. So for example, admin user creates customer, but what field should be for the customer, it's not described. Or for the loan, user can check the balance, but how that balance is calculated is not described. So it's a basic overview to start the conversation. And this is a typical example I get over the years. So clients spend some time to write an overview to start the conversation. And then a developer like me, in this case, I have to prepare a set of questions about the details because the devil is in the details, as there is a saying. So if by this PDF I say, for example, $5,000, it's just shooting blindly to say some number. The actual number, the budget and the time should be discussed after a few conversations. Because clients usually are not technical and they don't understand what they don't understand and what they don't know and what they haven't described. So this is an example of a specification. Let's call it conversation starter. Another example is, for example, this visual example. So they prepared mockups, login register, register form with exactly the fields with asterisks which is required or not. What are the options with example even of the data with map. So all the pages are described in a 12 page document with comments if they are needed. So explanations, additional explanations. And at the end they even propose database schema, database field names even technical advice, so the client is pretty technical in this case. So this is the specification which is much more visual, also with a text description at the end. In this case, clients spend much, much more time on preparing that one to compare with the loan application previously. And in my opinion, this document is the result of the conversation. So the second step, step two of the project could be from that loan application, discussing the details and then drawing things like this one. So mockups, you don't have to be a developer to draw that mockup, so it can be done by client or by yourself. And then there are much fewer details, unknown details. So it is possible to estimate the price now at this point. But keep in mind, it's quite a lot of work. So if you as a developer, if you agree to do the second step of the specification for free, that's your mistake. That's technical analysis and it should be paid for. Sometimes it is possible even to agree that it's a separate task. The task result is this specification, your offered budget, but client can go with this the same specification document to another developer for a different price. That makes the agreement really fair. 
So you do the actual job of getting the details of specification, writing and all of that. You get paid and then clients choose. But in general, in my opinion, visual representation of what needs to be done is much, much better. Even much more convenient to discuss than just the text. And speaking about the text, let's take a look at another example. Functional documentation. And we scroll down and we scroll down and we scroll down. Nothing visual. 15 pages of a lot of tasks listed. And that project is bigger. I agree. But even without details, it's push-pull to Microsoft Outlook. But there should be many more details involved in that. So functionality. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Nothing visual. A lot of text. And guess what? Developers won't read that all. If you are a client and you are looking for a developer and send the developer this, 90% of the chance that they won't read that document in full, which lead to all consequences. If they just skim it and provide the price, the price will be probably wrong, or they would ask a lot of questions uh, and uh, that would drive to visual representation of, of all of that, or pretty typical that it demotivates the developer to even start the project. So my logic would be, for example, if I get this as a specification, my logic would be, okay, so I need to read 15 pages of document. I need to analyze that and then provide some questions for free. So client is asking for too much work up front. As I said in the very beginning, the first step is to start the conversation. This document can start only one conversation. How can we shorten it? And even for bigger projects, it's totally possible to shorten it to a few pages or like five pages with listing the main overview functions and then getting to details with second and third and fourth conversation. Or even better to divide the project into phases, into steps, into milestones. Each milestone could be one month, for example, and then you price that month, agreeing on all the details for that month. So that's another way. But my point here with this example is 15 pages of text is just too much to read. Yeah, so take a look around uh, and read those specification examples. Maybe it will give you some thoughts that you can pass to your clients or if you are clients yourself, some ideas how to specify the requirements for the next project. And the final thing I will say is that these days, the PDFs or the docs is unsexy way to prepare the specification. There are a lot of online tools for mockups, for wireframes, which could be exported to PDF later, but the most popular that I've worked with is called Figma. And here are the examples of Figma. I've just Googled it on Google Images, mockups of web applications or mobile applications. And this is all in one place. I'm not getting paid for advertising Figma in any way, but I've just tried and see how it works. So mockup can be done by non-designer a non-developer but then designer could take over and add much prettier version and then everyone can comment comment on the details and then the developer can see the functionality from that so it's all in one collaboration tool and it's not the only one there are more on the market so you just google mock-up prototyping tools or something like that so probably the best way to have a specification is to have it somewhere in the cloud which is easier to discuss, to modify, to update, and also change the view, whether you want the overview of the features or some detail or comments on a specific page of that project. What do you think about the specification I've shown? Which did you like the most? What specification are you getting as developers? Are you satisfied with them? And if not, what do you think the clients should do? And do they have enough information? Are you asking the right questions up front so they would provide the right specifications? For anything related, let's just dive into the comments section and let's discuss. And as usual, I advise you to subscribe to the channel because I'm shooting videos almost daily now on Laravel and on the business side of web development. See you guys in other videos.